um, warm. Um, but we've been jet lagged, of course, and we've been recovering from our jet lag. And uh, yeah, so so we've been more in our our bubble. But we've seen Brisbane. Um, we have had a lot of off time because um, yeah, because of getting used to the environment and settle ourselves. And we really, really love the place. It's it's so calm and um, respectful and open and bright. So we really love it here. Well, we have 10 days, so we have uh, a jet lag protocol in training, of course, and um, we do the usual. Um, the ones who need it they get some aids to sleep, and we get up on the right uh, time, the normal time, and we stay awake throughout the day. So we started to train uh, early, um, and we moved the training times up. We're now at 4 o'clock, and then uh, we're back going towards uh, game time of uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, but every day, uh, an hour or two later, um, from what was the first one? It was 11 to 12 to 2 o'clock, today 4 o'clock, and then tomorrow 6 o'clock. Um, to get your biorhythm working in a way that um, when it's daytime, you stay awake for us, and when it's nighttime, we were actually training to be able to not fall asleep. Yeah, and, and that works really well because it goes faster then. And um, uh, we've been looking into those special glasses and stuff, but scientifically the, nothing is proven. So we wanted to keep things simple, as we always keep things simple. And uh, it works really well because the players look sharp on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, we have no injuries. How relieving is that? Uh, very much so, <laughs> especially Katie McCabe had an ankle injury in the, in the France game, but it, uh, it's really fine. And uh, we are not ready yet, um, but that is planned. Uh, we have the closed door games and that is especially because of being able to change as many players as we want, not so much because we want to hide, because um, everything is known and we are in a FIFA, in a FIFA project and we all upload our games, so there's nothing secret towards our opponents. And now these days you cannot keep anything secret. So, um, yeah, it, it's just because we want to play everybody. Well, it feels especially real because we made so, ma so many Irish people here. <laughs> and uh, whole Dublin was with, uh, with our billboards and our slogan, Outbelief. We do outbelieve that we can do something. Uh, and we know where we stand. We know that we are um, the underdogs um, and it's not playing, but that, that is, that's the case. We're 22 in the world ranking list and we're improving. But um, we know that we have to be realistic and we give our all. That um, you cannot make uh, a little mistake because a little mistake is a goal against. That's the biggest learning that we have. Yeah, but also sharpening up, uh, getting ready to our match fitness. Um, there were still a few steps to go and uh, we're getting closer and closer. So the planning is going really well. Uh, the periodization works fantastically. Um, so by the time that the Australia game is there, we'll be ready and then we give our best and we see where it ends. Well, you need to ask her, of course, but um, we don't feel any difference with any other player. Our, our group is so open and we welcome everybody that's part of the group. So um, I feel both her and Marissa Shiva, um, they're so connected to everybody. We don't feel any difference, but it's best to ask her, of course. Um, something proves only to be impossible the moment it shows to be impossible. Uh, and that is our slogan. Um, we get everything out of ourselves. We prepare the best that we can. We have had a fantastic uh, program to prepare ourselves. And uh, we give all, we give the best that we have at that moment. Um, but in that, we need to be realistic. It's our first World Cup. Um, we do not have as many players as others have, um, but we have f a fantastic group with a core for Ireland, a core, a core, a heart for Ireland. <coughs> that is immense. Um, and we stick together, we're a team. We work for each other and we give ourselves for each other. Um, and that is our biggest strength, I think. It's for myself also the first time that I coach. I've been at all the World Cups for FIFA 99 to 2015 for a part of the technical study group, but now it's the first time that I'm actually along uh, the sideline. So it's very special for all of us.